Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Erik Sandboer and today we'll be showing you a video around deploying the Dell CSI driver in a SUSE Rancher environment. Now, in order to get this going, let's start by looking at the uh, actual Rancher platform. So I pre-installed a small cluster here. You can see it here, local cluster, um, three node members, uh, Rancher 20, 21 and 22. And basically at the moment, nothing around storage, right? There's no storage classes. There's no persistent volume claims. So today we'll be showing you how easy it is to integrate Dell storage with, Rancher, with the Rancher platform. Um, when we look under apps, you can see very quickly that there's charts. And when you search for Dell, you can see that there's three CSI drivers captured in charts today. So that's a growing number, right? All of the drivers will work, but these drivers are more or less automated in their deployment. So it's become really, really easy. And how do you install it? Well, basically all you need to do is you click the chart and then you click install, right? So you click install, you get a PowerFlex CSI driver installed. Um, today we will be installing um, the uh, uh, PowerStore driver. And with that, let's take a look at the PowerStore uh, that we're going to install to, and that's this one. Um, you can see for storage that we do have some storage there. There are some CSI storage already running on the array from another platform. There's also a VMFS data store, but there's nothing Rancher related at the moment. So in order to enable that, um, of course, we are going to install the CSI PowerStore driver. Um, you can see that there's some prerequisites. Uh, of course, if you want to use iSCSI, it makes sense that your worker nodes need to have an iSCSI driver installed. So all of those things have been taken care of and the Rancher platform in, in that respect is prepared for uh, uh, having a CSI driver. So the things we need to do for PowerStore specifically are basically just two things. The first one we need, obviously, we need to create a namespace where the CSI driver can run and we need to create a secret where the configuration of the power store is told to the CSI driver because the CSI driver will need to know where to go to actually find the power store. Make sense? So in order to do these two things, um, we're going to the CLI level. So right now I'm logged in to one of the nodes. So if I say kubectl get nodes, you can see that yes, I've rancher 20, 21 and 22 ready to go. So what do I need to do? Well. Uh, I should create the namespace, obviously, right? So create namespace, CSI minus power store. And after I've done that, I should look at the YAML file. So I prepared a YAML file already, uh, secret.yaml. You can see it here, pretty straightforward. It's a list of arrays. So this is just uh, a list of one, if you will. I specify the endpoint with an IP address. I need to specify the global ID of the power store. Uh, I need to, uh, to provide a username and a password, obviously, for the CSI driver to be able to use the API of the power store. And finally, I need to specify the block protocol I'll be using, which is uh, iSCSI for today. So basically, I can just go on and create this secret, right? Creating the secret, give it a name, put it in the right namespace uh, and use the secret.yaml file. Done. Going back into the GUI, when I look at storage now, I should be able to see the secret. Yep, there we go. So that's the secret that we just created. Uh, basically, that's all we need to prepare for the actual installment of the CSI driver. So now I can just go back to apps and the charts, search for Dell, say I want to install a power store and click install. All that I need to do now is select the correct namespace. So that's the namespace we just created. Um, I could modify the configuration that you see here. Basically, um, it's all good to go. I just want to make one change. I want to make sure that if we create volumes on the power store, I can tell that it's coming from the Rancher platform. So that's why I'm changing the volume name prefix to include the name Rancher. With that, let's just install. So it's installing when we look at workloads and oh, and the pods, you can see that it's already running, right? Uh, six out of six, two out of two for the pair of controllers and the, the node pods that are running on, all, uh, on each and every node. 
So right now the CSI driver has been installed, um, but I don't see any storage yet. That's because I haven't defined a storage class. So that's one final thing that we need to do. Um, I'm just going back to the CLI and I prepared another YAML file um, that you can see here to actually create the storage class. It's pretty straightforward. It includes the name of the storage class and the uh, ID uh, of the array. And all I need to do is basically create from a file the YAML file that we just viewed. Done. So going back into the GUI, I now should have a storage class. There we go. PowerStore minus iSCSI has been created. Now, the last and final thing to show you for today is how to actually provision storage. I could go back to the CLI, do some more YAML to create a PVC, create a deployment that connects into the PVC. I could also do it through like the Rancher GUI. So at the moment we have zero uh, persistent volume claims. I can simply create a new claim and I can give that any name I like, of course, um, PowerStore demo. I will use the storage class PowerStore minus iSCSI, 10 gigs, should be fine. And I just click create. It's that easy, right? And right now I have a PowerStore demo PVC bound and it's named, well, like this. So verifying on the array, I should have to refresh, I guess. Yep. And you can see that uh, neatly following what I asked it to, right, to do to make a change prefix, I can now tell that this CSI volume, 10 gigs in size as requested, did indeed come from the Rancher platform. This concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.